You know how many uses this thing got? Probably about two. Someone leaves in the corrosive spot. It's corrosive and look at the end on it. Nice. Uh, some of these things made in USA are like 15, 20 bucks now. It's ridiculous. This one gets taken away now. Um, uh, what else I going to say? Oh yeah. <coughs> Oil. I can't believe that's rotted through. Maybe that's under warranty or something. I don't know. You, you give stuff to people and somehow they can destroy it in like no time. Hence, I don't give anything to people anymore. Family members, friends, if you have any, a stranger on the street. I do not give anyone anything anymore because 99% that person has fucked up things because they're screwed up. 99%. Same like, you know how screwed up people have screwed up everything? Not only am I have a screwed up look, I mean, might not have a screwed up look, some people just don't care about that. Don't let looks of people deceive you, but think that they're things though. They're things. If everything they have in their possession is fucked up, then they are fucked up themselves. Guaranteed. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this shit. Mobile One sucks. I never use it. I don't know. It keeps growing here. We have to. There's like all like a Mobile One pile under the wagon right now, and I didn't buy it. So I don't care. I don't want to use the car. Move your mobile one. So I don't buy it. Currently running old ass German Castrol on this one, and uh, Shell Rotella and everything else. Uh, heavy duty diesel oil, which you cannot find literally anywhere now. So I was looking around, looking around. How much does AMS oil cost? So you're looking around. All right, AMS oil is kind of expensive. Whatever. Then I'm looking. I wonder if you get a deal though when you're a dealer. Maybe. Maybe you get a slight discount on that oil itself when you're a dealer. It's like, what does it cost to become a dealer? It's like, 50 bucks a year or something. And I go, damn, so I can like market oil to people? I'm like, eh, this is a kind of dumpy area, but there are people who race. There are people who have the diesels, you know, the big diesel trucks. A lot of, you know, diesel, uh, you know, semi trucks, diesel lifted lifting boy stick out wheel trucks you know whatever there's people with race cars um i don't know there's a couple of people in the area who have uh licenses i don't know how successful they are or what they want to put into it but now with uh, everything who knows maybe i can have like ams oil on my crappy dying youtube with like a, a referral link on it i don't know so i gotta look into that maybe you can make more money than what i'm doing right now uh part time just the screw with oil might be something to think about. If you have done it or know someone who has, maybe know some people say, "Oh, well, that's not an profitable, not profitable." But maybe they live in a town that's smaller, smaller than this one, and this one is pretty small and shitty. But maybe they live in actually a place that's even worse. So, but I don't even know how that's possible. But definitely is possible somehow. Everything is possible. But, um, it's interesting that the, um, that the amount of, uh, you know, oils that you used to be able to get these days, you no longer can. This was, you know, in two years or whatever, two years time, it's, it's freaking ridiculous. That, may, that thing's eating through over there. How do you manage that? Seriously, how, how do you manage that? That thing was, like, brand new, like, a week ago. You start using it, it's all corroded, it was shit around oh my god look at that might be lifetime warranty we have to uh, look at that look at it oh it's eating eating right through over there I can probably punch that and I'll go right through to the end it's so thin it's almost too all the way through nice 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 so um, that's her deal when you lend things out to people you get them stuff. I don't do it anymore. I'm also going to probably sell soon. Not right now, but soon because we have other projects to do. Broken stuff and we have to fix blacky and other things. We're going to sell all parts related to things that um, I don't really use Just to get back money and to um, just free up space. Oh, what the hell is my bolt? I need my bolt, special bolt. With the pulling bolt, the 5 8 We're gonna 
start going through stuff. The 5 8 puller bolt, where are you? Oh no. Oh no. What a mess. I think I had this too in the horde. It's a yellow drum. Anyone got a yellow drum? Peterbilt Matchbox from 1991. Found it in the trash. I want to fix it. It needs a drum though. I probably had one in the horde that I thought was a white colored drum, but it's a yellow colored drum. Sad. I want to fix my matchbox. That's a cool rig. <coughs> little coffin. Um, this can go over here. This can go over here, but yeah, ultimately. Um, you cannot find the oil. So. And that, you don't even have to uh, stock the shit. Being an AMS oil dealer, you can, um. You can just, um. Drop ship. You can have some on hand. For some customers. Nope, not in here. Not in here. Can I borrow your hammer? No. You can, like, let someone borrow your hammer and the thing will be all nicked up and... I used to borrow tools in a day. Anyone watching my videos probably knows that. I was probably borrowing it from them. And, uh, I used to make them all greasy and shit. I don't even know how I managed. They used to always say it was greasy. I was like, what? I see no other... I think sometimes they were just messing with me. Over time. When I actually made it clean or whatever. I didn't work well when I worked on things fast. I made a freaking mess. It took many, many, many years after the fact to um, stop that. Work diligently, but not make a mess. Some people just make a mess of anything I do. Kind of like, I got to smash everything up. There was a guy that we used to share a tow truck with, and he crashed into near fucking everything he could. Never even got in trouble or anything, causing us thousands and thousands of dollars in damages, bending the whole thing up, uh, breaking the weather strip, breaking the door, blowing out the tires, wrecking the little stupid simulator things. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Where is my puller balls? Some people manage that. What's this? I need a freaking 5 8 Oh, I don't know where it is. Here? Here? No. 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 $2.99. Home Depot. I gotta get another one. $2.99. Ship to your door. Where is the damn bolt? I don't know. I want to show you my cool puller bolt that I use for harmonic balancer pullers if I can find it. But I cannot find it. This I too seem to be disorganized. Oh, these are all lost. I had about three of them. All lost. So I don't know what happened to them. I didn't lose them. Someone's measuring their PP or something. Pepe, we gotta do that again, grease that. Uh, damn. Not gonna be able to show you. Not gonna be able to show you. That's nonsense. I don't know if you like turning the camera. That's my headlight that it broke, I think, the, se the second time. Save that. Well, I can probably get that out now with long pliers. I don't, they didn't have long pliers at the time. Now I do. Uh, take that apart one day. Yeah, we guess because they wrecked, or wrecked the truck. Because someone lazy didn't want to go out and get food the day before. And they fucking ate all the food and I was gone. I come back and go, where the, where the fuck did all this shit go? Oh, I ate it. I'm like, how the fuck? You know, people I'm related to. People I'm related to everyone, how the fuck did you go through three gallons of this and eat all fucking that? And like, like, I couldn't physically eat that much, and this is why you're a fat ass, and I'm not. Um, yeah, and then they flood out and wrecked in the snow. It says, we don't have any food. Who the fuck ate it all? So I don't deal with that shit either. 
that cost me thousands of dollars of damage and I still have a shitty thunder. At least the second person who painted the grill shell was nice and then that same grill shell got fucked up by the same person who didn't want to go out and get food about nine months later. Isn't that cool? Nine months later, yep. Where is that fault? We're gonna have to make another one. Oh no. Oh, that was my brand. I thought I had a Lysol one. I had an OTC one. I should have looked for an OTC hormonic balancer puller. It probably would have been cheaper than this Lyle one piece of shit one I bought. Oh no. Damn it. I don't know where the bolt is. And I need it to take off my puller. I guess some people, if you're still watching, you will give them this and the end will be chopped off. And you go, how did you even possibly do that? You will give them this. And the lens cover will be smashed. I'll give them a pair of scissors, they'll come back rusty. But they're stainless steel. You know? We'll give them a ratchet. And the chrome finish on it will look like it's been dragged 10 miles on a chain on the back of a trailer hitch up a truck or something. You know, it's just, how, did you, how did you manage this? How did you? This is so common. You know? How did you manage? Um, gotta find that bolt and turn this off. Oh yeah, we gotta check that. We never changed those other ones. I think the passenger side tie rod adjuster sleeve on Blackie, the bolt snapped. Because they used garbage bolts and those are new bolts. Grade 8 ones. I think I had like grade 5 or some shit. Um. <coughs> See that? that? That is so old. That's where, um, go on Carl Elwin's channel, he has, uh, John Zupka from Paula on there. It has a lot of views, I think, with the, uh, with the, um, uh, torque head. The coil per, uh, coil per ignition, um, system. That's for the dude. I had to borrow, this was years ago, my first intake job. He had a metal one. So poor I couldn't buy one. I didn't know where to get one or rent one. Thought it was some like out of control thing. He had some um, metal fuel line disconnect tool. I borrowed it once and then I just bought the tool afterwards and there it is right there. <laughs> like maybe a year later when I had a little more money or something. Oh, that was funny. I was like, hey, how do you get these fuel lines apart? That was like my biggest debacle. How to get quick enough to line to part? I didn't know. Now we have, you know, I like that. I leave that there because I remember that that was my biggest challenge at the time. And we have had way bigger challenges since then. How to get a quick connect fuel line apart? We have had more challenges than that with the automotive fun. So that's. At least you can say that, that's how you know you're learning. You know, people buy these specialty tools or whatever, and they go, Oh, you're only going to use it once. 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 Bullshit. 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 You're going to use it many times. So just buy it. Alright, where is that bolt? We're going to have to make another one, man. 5 8 with the heads ground down for the old um for the old uh, puller. I had another toolbox kind of filled with shit. It was that ugly Mako box. Oh another thing with the TV the TV thing like the guy who told me with the TV if you're still watching he said that I would never sell the TV I'm gonna have to throw it out some some flea market guy. Another guy who said that was my $200 Matco toolbox. Oh, there's another old one. That one's broken though. It needs O-rings. It's a vintage one. Made in Italy. It's bent because someone dropped it. Never dropped these hose things. They bent. It says Italy on it, but it's bent. It's screwed up. See? You just throw them around. You don't throw shit around in life. It lasts a lot longer. But the guy who had a, uh, that toolbox, the guy who had that tool, I mean, 
trying to sell the toolbox. There's some idiot 845 area code down here. And he tries to flip toolboxes. Maybe he died or ran into business. It's no one is mine as rip off boxes anyway. But he had, um, he was just trying to buy my box. He was Mr. Toolbox guy, Mr. Toolbox professional guy. And he said, oh, you're never going to sell it for that much, and it's old, and, but if you want to sell it, just call me back, and I'll just uh, tell you what I'm going to buy it for. Like, like he's going to, uh, okay, asshole. Yep, alright. I got 200 bucks for it. That's what I paid for it. Got back my money. I tried to get 250 but I lowered the price 200 you do 200? Yeah, sure. Trying to make 50 on it. Didn't happen. That was nice, so I gave him a $50 discount. They asked, that's all right. I didn't need the extra $50 anyway. That's what's bad about living in a condo line. Some people think you're rich here or some shit living in here. Really not. You gotta have a more dumpy house. Use it for your for sale house. I gotta go through all this shit. Yeah, what am I just saying? You give people something and um, comes back trash. Yeah, look at this. This is trash too. My excuse is it's so goddamn hot to go through it. I have no idea where that goddamn bolt went, man. Shit. I'm glad I just started going through here and looking for it. I knew that was one more thing I needed for the job. Toyota drain plug gaskets. Oh man, I found those on the bottom of that macro toolbox I was just talking about. Yep, found those on the bottom. I'll save those for good memory. And the ones I didn't change, and the car pissed all over. And angry customer. Angry customer. That probably would have never happened down here because the volume of shit that y'all was doing up there would have never been that. For um, for here, the volume of cars we had. All right, let me go turn this off and look for my bolt some more. Kind of upset about it. I don't have to. Hopefully, I have a cooler full of nuts and bolts. That was basically this whole macro toolbox, like the size of one of these. It was just filled with it. And I said, why am I using a toolbox for this kind of shitty storage? I don't know. I got to figure out how to polish all that corrosion off that brass. That thing's gonna. You can literally just tap that. Right there, and I'll pop right through. It's so thin when you look at that angle. How do they do it? I do have a crank cans product. Look, I thought I didn't. Bell spring compressor. Where is it? I don't know. Someone steal it when I moved here? I haven't seen it since uh, like 2006 in my old house. Aluminum, cheap uh, turning thing. Yeah. Wow, that's just um, roll pins. This is a real cheap one. It works though, I use it. Top cams. Crank gear install tool. Oh, this is this. You could have made that yourself. But I didn't have any tools at the time. Presses the gear on nice, no hammering. And this tool is like probably like $50 now. It's ridiculous. I don't know what it was years ago. Maybe like $25, $30. I was like, that's ridiculous. Then. Where is. My self stand. Oh my god, I think someone stole this shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry in a minute. I know I didn't sell it. I know I didn't sell it. What are these? U joints from uh, Huffman. He has a YouTube channel, Buffman. Buffman Range. Buffman Range. Because, uh, gun stuff. Oh, there it is right there. Oh my god. How does it happen? Funny story, I had a uh, China one. I hate fucking China so much, it was cheap and flimsy. It was like a porch store one, so I found this one, super cheap, KD, NOS, and it's KD. KD tools is cool, they don't make KD tools anymore. So I bought that, and then I sold my China one. <laughs> I already have a free one that I got um, a long time ago. In a car, Ampro, I think. It was better than the KD Tools one I had anyway. Not KD, I mean the cheap AutoZone one. That's dirty. That's in the drawer. Yeah, this was a big opening. Why is that box so big for this little thing? This is a uh, Feldstone 
The pressure cool. Maybe comp makes it now. I know they make it for LS shit now too. So two springs at once. That's how I changed my valve spring ten years ago. I'm doing story time. Find that video. We're doing story time. Come on, come out. I need, I need a tripod. I actually do have a tripod, but someone stole it. Well, not really stole it, but they just use it. And they broke it, as always. It's broken. Because, um, this is how it rolls. Why does it have two nuts on here? Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Last time I put this thing together, man, I was just a lad. And look, I scratched it. So this goes on your studs. It goes this way. Looking at it, right? Because your rocker arm's over here. Those nuts, these nuts, fit on the 3 8 studs. Say it's for 3 8 so when you get 7 16 stud, they can't use it unless you drill it out. Oh, I should have thought about that. I probably will get 7, 7 16 studs one day. Oh, man. But that's the other one with the washer. That is um, the two that go over here. And this little plate just comes down with this little shitty threaded rod. And you can push down both springs on it, cranking down that nut. It does work, you see. I worked that nut pretty good. It's pretty worn out. After um, 16 springs, well, I'll use it 8 times. You should do 2 at once. And it worked, you know, it's kind of easy. You put the cylinder on top of the center. Run it down. Take your spring off, you know, your keeper. Spring comes off, take off the plate. You can basically leave this tool in place too when you're doing it. You just remove the top on it. And, uh, it's actually really, really quick. And it's low profile if it's behind the um, these cars. No hard on the last two, the seven and the eight. It uh, fits pretty good. I bought anticipating changing valve springs on the uh, LT1, but this never happened because I moved here and there was a period of maybe less than three years when I had maybe a dollar. So I'm kind of budgeting month to month to month. Yeah, that goes in there. This goes in there. Surprised that didn't rust. That goes in there. This goes in there. Make a little kit. That I bought later when I changed the timing chain on the truck. Same with that. A handy small block Chevy tools. We will add more soon. Snap on a little puller. That's probably for like 10 bucks. So let's clamp thing. I get so much good stuff. So much good stuff. That's my balancer install tool. Cool, we need that. Yep, 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 yep. We need that. Nice. And you can use that in conjunction with the uh, that big fancy um, piece of pipe over there. So. Yeah, we need a tripod. My tripod's always being used with somebody else and then they broke it. It makes some repairs. I should have glued that bearing too, maybe. That's a little dry, that thrust bearing. Thrust bearing? Oh, I'm not showing you. Thrust bearing. I should glue it. Lube it, lube it, lube it. Yeah, it's a good tool though. When I first used it with this car, I think, when it was leaking. It's grooved. I should really get a new pulley for it, but I'm cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. That's my made in Taiwan tool, right? Yep. KD, that thing's the shit. Pull up many arms. I think it's made in China. KD again. KD tools. No longer made. Kind of sad. I find KD tools. I kind of like KD tools. And then I turned it to gear wrench, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright, put that away. This gets all a mess. Every time we, uh... The car gets close over here. Luckily, it's a little further away. This is what now? Oh my god. Oh, the other car. That's a snap on one. I forgot I even had that one. That's, that was kind of a useless buy, but it was super cheap. I think it was like 40 bucks. And everyone on eBay. It's like a used one. Wanted like a lot more. Look at that number CJ119B. Maybe like 100, 120. So I said, even if I never use it and flip it one day. Small profit. I have no idea what that bolt one. Crown down. Um, crown down. 5 8 bolt. Um, 
having these kind of condo land problems, I hate this shit. It's really time to um, move on. Move on in life. I'm done with the extra BS here. To move on in life and leave. And even if I had a. I was looking at rundown houses in South Carolina and how cheap they are. And oh, it's probably in a rough area, man. Some of these places. Yeah, this is much riffraff going on as condo land does, but it's all right. We're on condo land. But these places. Oh, I still need a caliper. I need a caliper. That's not gonna work. This is only um, five inch or something, or six inch. Not long enough. That's what she said. Not long enough. Um, we have. Um, yeah, even over there. At least you have your own private house stuff, even though you run down shit. I'm gonna deal with this shit. I really have to organize literally everything that I have so I can find stuff once again. Instead of it being lost all the time. So that's my long 30 minute video. What's today? Saturday? No, tomorrow is Saturday. I corroded. I can't believe this shit, man. Give people shit. I have a warranty it now, a lifetime warranty apparently. Let's see how good it is. Where is that ground down bolt? I don't know. Damn, damn, damn. Tire plug with patch. I'll never use that. Toyota tire plug patch. 100 years old. Tire patch tools, which I never had, but I found them all in cars. Over the day, running a tow truck. I mean, all kinds. All kinds. Like made in USA. All kinds. I mean, got a whole free kit. This one. This one cars. Isn't that great? Oh, and speaking lightly of corroded brass like that hose thing, I keep brass away from bleach, keep brass away from chlorine, or else it will just corrode like no time. This plug was almost about to, uh, well, I took some layers of corrosion off of this shit, and it was very, very hard. So it was outside, the dog kept pissing on the connector, and people kept spraying bleach all over it. Yeah, just not, not a bright thing to do. My bull actually might be in here. Hmm, it might be. I knew it was in that draw. Covered in shit, there it is. 5 8 bolt, all ground down. Um, stick it in your crank hole. You see all the marks from the puller. Actually, the crank bolt in the LT1 right now looks like this. Because I was trying to just take the puller off by itself. And leave the hub on. And, uh, I didn't think about that happening. And, oh yeah, I need a crank bolt for an LT1. They're kind of weird. Yeah, I messed it up. Yeah, that goes in there. The puller goes on top. You don't damage your threads in your crank. Yes. It's in there. Future reference. I knew it was in there. There's so much shit in there. It took me like an hour, but we found other stuff too. We found LS tools, which I probably never use. I never have LS. Awesome. Alright, let's go upload this long, 20 minute long video. We have so many more videos to do, but I can't believe that shit got corroded. With the warranty that. Oh yeah, well going back to this again. People who just don't give a shit on the outside will show um, that they don't give a shit with everything they take and use. So again, if you see people with beat up everything and trash shit, you give, you know, that's a bad sign. And keep on writing people like that, like people live with me. So just make yourself dirty or whatever the hell. Keep bringing it to people's attention because they're never going to better themselves or change. Unless people keep riding them. So yeah. Like some people just can't use a car. For like 5 miles without dirtying it up. Inside, outside. They're running into shit. 5 miles. They can't do it. Like what the fuck. You shouldn't even be driving. If you can't manage that shit. If, you can, if you're constantly bumping into shit. Running over curbs. Running into people. Running into things. Not checking the vehicle. You know just. Driving off with the hood open. See the hood's cracked right now. Nobody checks that shit. I always check that. I, I, every time I use the car, I pull on the hood, I pull on all four doors, if there is four doors, and I pull on the trunk. Because many times I've driven a beater car, and the fucking hood pops up, the trunk pops up, the doors are open. You make a turn and the door pops open, like, what the fuck? People are stupid. So, don't surround yourself with that shit, I'm still doing it. But, don't, don't be the, again, like I said in the other video, don't be the person that has her name 
definition book when you when you search stupid or dumb in Google their picture comes up. So many people want to be that in that position.